Hey, this is Joe with Grow It, Build It, and I'm going to tell you how to cold stratify seeds uh, a couple different ways using the fridge. Um, some seeds need to go through a winter outside to break a dormancy period. It's called uh, cold stratification, and you can normally take care of this by winter sowing, which I'll have a card at the top right if you want to see how to do that. But if you miss the boat, um, then this is and, and forgot to do it, then this is how you can. Some examples of plants that need a cold period would include the eastern redbud tree, columbines. Uh, some types of echinacea, false sunflower, wine cup flowers, blue labellia, uh, cardinal flower, and last but not least, butterfly weed and all milkweeds for that matter. Now I'm going to show you two ways. One's going to use sand, the other is going to use a uh, paper towel. But I don't use, uh, for large seeds, you can get away with using sand or a towel most of the time. But these are bigger seeds, so that's uh, false sunflower there, it's a milkweed seed on the left, and then uh, right there and then up here is uh, a legume. I think that was blue false indigo or red bud. I can't remember But those would work great for sand now examples of seeds that I would never use sand with are really tiny tiny seeds And so the two seeds on this plate that's columbine um, So they're very very small as you can see reference to the pencil eraser and then that is black-eyed Susans uh, so rude Beckia basically um, But they're just way too tiny to try to uh, use sand um, and do this. So, uh, and, and actually uh, there's even worse examples. This is labellia, uh, blue labellia, and it's, the seed is like powder. I mean, you could throw it up in the air and blow it and it look like a cloud of dust almost. They're extremely tiny seeds. Um, and the problem is with the small ones, if you put them in sand, you're never going to find them again. Um, so that's the main reason. But here's the materials you need. You need a spray bottle with uh, some water in it. Um, and then a full sheet paper towel and uh, so you can see I have two half sheets there I just left them together uh, a couple of the plastic baggies and uh, some sand and then a sharpie oh also some seeds obviously but then a sharpie so that you can label your plastic bags so you know what you did and when you did it uh, so we'll get started with the sand so first thing is just get your bag open right away that way you won't um, get the bag wet when you go to put the sand in later but Start spraying water on the sand and, uh, you know, do this kind of slowly and mix it up and kind of repeat the process back and forth. And the reason why you do that is you don't want to get the sand too wet. And how wet is too, or how wet should you get it? Well, you want it to clump and when you squeeze it, you shouldn't see a bunch of water dripping out, which it seems to be pretty good. And so then you just take the sand and put it in the bag. Now this is just, uh, you know, there's a different types of sand you can use. You could use vermiculite even. Uh, there's a number of things. But uh, using sand will make a, kind of a bigger reservoir of moisture for the seeds to draw upon. So that's why bigger seeds, it's kind of, can be a, a good idea. Um, but uh, once you do that, you're basically going to mix your seed up into the sand. And uh, then um, it'll, you're pretty much done. But uh, I just kind of sprinkle some seed on there, mix it up a little bit. And then we are just going to kind of flatten the bag out and seal it up. I generally don't use sand um, unless it's a really big seed. Uh, you know, the biggest ones I ever tried to germinate this way was like witch hazel, which those seeds are really big. But uh, anyways, um, so that's it. Now we just need to label it and we can toss it in the fridge, you know, kind of flatten it out. And I like to squeeze the air out too. But uh, so now I'll show you how to do it with a paper towel. And this is my preferred method because it's very easy. You never lose your seeds. And uh, yeah, basically just uh, start by uh, folding it in half twice. So you basically you make it into a quarter size of the original. And then we're going to unfold it and we are going to moisten it. Now we're going to follow the same principles with the sand. We want to get it moist. Um, and you know wet but we don't want it sopping dripping wet um, if it gets like that like if you make this too wet uh, you could uh, you'll get like mold or fungus or something around the seeds I've had it happen so here I'm just kind of uh, feeling it I squeeze it there's no water coming out and everything seems okay but uh, apparently I thought it wasn't quite moist enough because I gave it a couple more spritz here but uh, anyways uh, the, the key thing is wet, but not soaking wet. Um, but after that, fold it back in half and then sprinkle the seeds on one half of the remaining surface area. Um, and we're going to 
do it like that because we'll fold it over like a book here in just a second. And uh, once that's done, um, we really just need to uh, put it into a Ziploc bag and seal it up like before. But, uh, you know, a lot of the seeds that you're going to try to grow, or you may try to go, we'll say they need like 30 days stratification, uh, two months, something like that. This is the way that you can uh, achieve that when you, either you don't live in a cold climate or uh, the plant, uh, you basically you waited too long and you uh, uh, need to want to grow that seed. But again, label it and date it and try not to forget about it. I know I've done it before. But uh, after that, we basically just need to uh, pick up our stuff and uh, chuck them in the fridge. And uh, so when they're flat like that, you can stack them up if you need to, or you know you can store quite a quite a few of these without having uh, too much trouble. But just find a quiet spot in the fridge and don't forget you put them in there. Um, I've done that too, and uh, you know that's pretty much about it. Once uh, like so, if it's 30 days, at the end of that 30 days. Um, you just plant the seeds as you normally would, whatever the instructions say or however you're supposed to do it. Um, and uh, once you plant them in there, just uh, they should germinate, you know, within a week or two uh, or less, depending on the species and all that. But uh, so if you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, if you want to see more on growing stuff from seed, go to our website, growabuilder.com. We've got a whole lot of stuff there. So thank you very much.